Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're going to analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and have a look what could be the targets during the weekend because during weekends we often have some uh, pump and dump price action. So let's see also where we closed the DXY and the CME chart on Friday. And before we start with the content, a little reminder, if you want to trade Bitcoin and other cryptos up to 100x leverage, then use the links down below here to the recommended exchanges where you can trade Bitcoin and other cryptos because with my links you can get some extra bonus and currently we have this Christmas tournament going on over on Bybit while you are trading you can win even more prizes next to your own gains so definitely go over to Bybit during December because here you can win some very nice prizes while you're anyway trading and if you don't trade at your own then try out maybe Prime XPT because here you have this co-vesting feature where you can copy trade other traders you just have to top up a little bit of Bitcoin and you can easily follow other traders and if you catch the lucky ones like this one for example here with almost 3000 percent gains then you can make with even small money nice big gains and recently I came along to this website crypto.com where you can also like over on Binance stake any kind Kind of cryptos you want you can get daily rewards here while you're keeping your cryptos here so maybe try out this feature here especially if you're also using binance and they also offer a free debit credit card where you can get at least one percent of cash back if you use their card so definitely go and check it out if you're interested in something like that you find all the links down below here if you want to support the channel and now my friends let's start with the content because bitcoin here on the spot chart is still trading and as you can see this morning we had here a nice bounce from the 50 moving average right at $18,500 and it looks like that we could be gearing up during the weekend towards here this $19,600. I think it is very likely that we are going to retest this area because previously it acted as a support and now it could be acting as a resistance since we were falling yesterday out of this rising wedge and in theory the target would be down here at around the 200 moving average at $17,000 also where we had this CME gap down here so I think it is very likely that maybe next week we are going to fulfill here this price target of around $17,000 where also the CME gap is lining up because if you look here in the four hour in the CME chart you can see that we were about to fall below the 50 moving average also below the 50 level in the RSI and in my own indicator you could see also that the money flow was definitely coming down so that's why I was expecting here a major drop towards $17,000 potentially to test the 200 moving average and also if you have a look into the DXY you can see that we were about to have an attempt here to test the 20 moving average and maybe even push higher because the RSI was very oversold and also in my own indicator we had several buy signals and that's why I was also thinking that most likely we're gonna see a short-lived pump in the DXY potentially to retest this 9150 level area before continuation to the downside and therefore we could see a correction potentially towards the 200 moving average in the four hour incoming so towards $17,000 but currently since we are entering now the weekend we have play time and everything is possible and that's why I think we may be gonna see today or tomorrow a little push here towards $19,000 $600 before maybe we're coming down again towards these levels where we also close the CMEs on Friday and if you look here into the daily time frame also here in the spot chart you can see that currently we are still closing daily candles above the nine day moving average which of course is very bullish and this is also what we want to see during a bull run so even though I'm expecting a possible correction towards $17,000 that doesn't mean that we're gonna have to go even lower it is possible that there we're gonna have a big bounce again to the upside and continue to close daily candles above the 20 and 9 day moving average because the RSI currently is bouncing from the 50 level which is bullish of course and this is what we want to see in order to get confirmation that we will see continuation to the upside and also break finally this 20k resistance the only problem is that we could be in maybe for a major correction since the bigger time frames are also looking a bit exhausted and also in the daily here we had a bearish divergence so as soon as we have a daily close below the 20 daily moving average so below $18,400 I think it is very likely that we will not only go 
down towards $17,000, but maybe also test here this region of around $15,000, where also the 50 daily moving average is lining up. And there we're going to have to see if we're going to have then a successful bounce again to the upside and continuation towards 20k and higher or if we have a complete correction down towards the 20 weekly moving average which currently is at $13,000 but of course this moving average is also rising up here especially if this weekend we're gonna have a successful close above $18,500 so the higher we are closing these weekly candles the higher the 20 weekly moving average is coming up and that's why if you want to catch a perfect bottom during a bull run then make sure that you rise up always you buy orders along the 20 weekly moving average currently is at $13,000 on Monday we're gonna have to see where this moving average will line up but currently it's right here $13,000 and since we are looking quite exhausted here in the weekly time frame I think a correction is in the cards the question is of course are we gonna see prices above 20k before a correction or after but if you just keep your buy orders along the 20 weekly moving average you should be doing fine and you also don't have to monitor the price 24 7 just keep your buy orders and long entries a little bit above the 20 weekly moving average and you should be doing fine if we're gonna see a major correction because the bull run is confirmed my friends and we will see Bitcoin trading above 20k very very soon and I'm sure in a couple of weeks and months we will look back to these videos where the price was below 20k and we will think like oh my god it was so cheap to buy Bitcoin at that time so that's why I'm telling you my friends try to buy as much Bitcoin as possible and the best recommended entry during this bull run that is already started is always to keep your buy entries along the 20 weekly moving average and the perfect example is here on the bull run from 2016 to 2017 you can see that every time we had a massive correction we always came down to the 20 weekly moving average here even we went along the nine weekly moving average which of course is also a good entry but overall if you were just buying always these dips towards the 20 weekly moving average you would have done very good and that's why my friends i keep telling you to try to accumulate as much bitcoin as possible and try to buy all these dips and since we now have seen that the nine weekly moving average is also a very good support during an uptrend then watch this it's exactly here at fifteen thousand dollars so that's why make sure that you have buy order set here between the nine weekly moving average at fifteen thousand two hundred dollar down to the 20 weekly moving average at thirteen thousand dollar it is possible that we're coming down to the 20 weekly moving average but i'm not very convinced right now because currently we have the hash ribbons flashing buy signals we have extreme bullish sentiment overall in the crypto space so if we're gonna have a correction then i think maybe this nine weekly moving average right here at fifteen thousand two hundred dollar makes more sense for a possible bottom before we're gearing up for another big leg to the upside so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now this was a short update because not much is going on right now but you have to be ready for a big move a big move will come for sure the question is only when and where does it take us so now you know the targets watch out for these two moving averages in case of a major correction so you will know exactly where you should start to long again and also buy more cryptos so if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel let's see if we can push towards 2000 subscribers until the end of this year this would be very much appreciated and a very great milestone for my channel and if this youtube channel is not enough for you then make sure to join also my disco trading chat we have a great crypto family over there everyone is welcome to join and this is also where you can get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye